Would you believe me if I told you you can fit a full 10 C's survival kit plus more in your pocket? Well, you can. I'm going to prove it and I'm going to show you how. Now, there is going to be some compromise. You cannot fit a 3x3 tarp in your pocket. You cannot fit a one liter metal bottle or container in a pouch of this size. The theme of this video is going to be compromise. You have to give up some durability. You have to give up some functionality in return for smaller size. So that said, all 10 C's plus more that I'll get to are contained in this pouch. This, by the way, is a Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. So let's open her up and I'll show you what's inside. I'm not going to dwell too much on the philosophy of use behind the 10 C's or the 5 C's of survival. You likely know that already. If not, there's a ton of good videos on YouTube that you can learn from. So let's open her up. Always wanted to do that. Yes. Yes. So... Moving from left to right, this is my torch or my flashlight for you Americans. In 10 C's terms, this is my candle or my candling device. Now, ideally this would be a headlamp, but like I said, compromise. Will a small AAA device like this be as useful or as powerful or as long lasting as a really good headlamp? No. Will it get the job done? Absolutely. This will light your immediate area, no problem at all. If you really need hands-free operation, you can get creative, you can find a way to stick this to your head somehow, or even just hold it between your teeth. This happens to be a Fenix LD02. The brand's not overly important, but I've always got on well with Fenix, so that's what I use. That's one C down, nine to go. I should also mention I have a spare battery down in here. Next up is combustion. I have one of these little screw together ferro rods. Uh, is this as good as a six inch long, half inch diameter ferro rod? No, clearly not. Does it throw sparks? Does it do the job? Does it get your fire lit? Absolutely. This one, the brand happens to be Liax something. Uh, some Chinese brand, it's not important. There is a little, little tinder area there. A little bit gimmicky, but... This is what it is. Also has a little compass on it, which surprisingly does work. Works surprisingly well, though a little gimmicky. And spoiler alert, this is this is not my main compass. I have a proper compass coming up. Spoiler alert. There's also a little little striker there. So works really well. I've lit tons of fires with ferro rods like this. I also have some tinder tabs here. These work great. Again, I've lit tons of fires with these little tinder tabs. Four of them. So two C's down, yet to go. Next is cutting tool. I have a Victorinox Swiss Army knife. This is their hiker model. It has good sharp blade. Now while Victorinox quality is typically excellent there's just no way a small folding knife like this can compete with a large full tang knife. It's just never going to be as strong or as robust. That said I can still do tons of things with this knife. I can make feather sticks, I can process small kindling, I can sharpen ground stakes, I can cut my cordage, tons of uses. There's also a very small saw, which is not exactly going to cut down the mightiest tree in the forest, but it is there. 
So. So three down, seven to go. Next I have half a meter of gorilla tape. In 10 C's terms, this is cargo tape. There are tons of uses for duct tape in outdoors and survival. That's beyond the scope of this video, but I will come back to the tape when I talk about shelter. This 10 C's kits and this kit, they are designed to work together. So that's the tape, which I will come back to. So I said this was a 10 C's kit plus more. This is the more. For me personally, the 11th C, if you like, is always calories. A man's got to eat. So peanut butter is excellent food for survival and for outdoors generally. It's very calorie dense. It's got your three main macronutrients. It stays fresh and it tastes really good. Or at least I think so. These I get from eBay. These are the same as what's in the British Army ration packs. So they've got that military sort of toughness to them. I'm not worried about the packet leaking. I'm not worried about getting peanut butter over my lovely clean pouch. So not part of the 10 C's, but a man's got to eat. Next, also not part of the 10 C's, I have a small boo-boo kit. All this has in it is a couple of band-aids, a couple of antiseptic wipes, there's a bit of gauze, and there's some, you can just see them there, some water purification tablets. Also not part of the 10 C's, but I have it there. That's this side done, apart from, as I said earlier, there's a spare battery tucked down in here. There you go. Next up is cordage. This is 15 meters or about 50 feet of micro cord. It has a tensile strength of 100 pounds or about 45 kilos. Now, obviously, compromise. It's not as strong as 550 paracord or bank line, but still tons of uses, especially when it comes to shelter. So, next is in 10 C's terms, this is my canvas needle or cloth needle, which I've kind of expanded into a little sewing kit. There's a large needle. You can just about see there, and there's a small needle in there, a couple of safety pins, some thread. Um, just good for gear repair, clothing repair, etc. In 10 C's terms, as I say, the 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 C is a, a needle, a canvas needle or a clothing needle. I've just expanded that somewhat into a mini sewing kit. This is sealed inside a drinking straw. It's very easy to do, though I, ha I do have a video which I will link here. You can watch. Um, it will show you how to seal items in a drinking straw. So that's that. Where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. C's down. So four to go. Next is container. Like I said at the beginning, there's just no way you can fit a metal container, like a bottle or a pot or whatever, in a pouch or a pocket. So the compromise is, just put that to the side, the compromise is, it's a plastic bag. As you can see, this is a Whirlpack stand-up bag. I'll just show you. The bottom of the bag is I'm not sure what the word is, what would you call that? Once it's filled with water, it does stand up on its own. This contains one litre, well, one litre of water, which is exactly 
the amount that the water purification tablets are designed to work with. So that's the container. Oh, they're quite tricky to drink out of, which is where the straw comes in. Next up is Compass, which is just down in here. This is a small silver compass. Is this as useful or as good as a full-size compass with rotating bezel, magnifying lens, measurements on the side, and so on? No, obviously not. Does it work? Does it point north? Yes, it does. That's compass. We're nearly there. Next is cover. I have a disposable rain poncho. Clearly these are not as durable as a, a military style poncho or an outdoor style poncho, but will it keep you dry? Absolutely, of course it will. I've tried them, I've used them, I've tested them. You put it on, you will stay dry. The issue with these ponchos for shelter building is that these do not have little eyelets in the corner like this for attaching your cordage. The solution to this problem is this. I will do a future video showing how I make a lean-to shelter with these items, this, this and this. So keep an eye out for that. Maybe even hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. And while you're there, if you wouldn't mind hitting like if you enjoyed this video, that would greatly help my channel. Last and possibly least is cotton. I'm not going to go into all the uses and the reasons for including cotton in a 10 C's kit. That's beyond the scope of this video. Ideally, this would be a larger piece of cotton, much larger, like bandana size or whatever. But a 10 C's kit wouldn't be complete without some cotton. So there you go. Full 10 C's kit with food, with basic first aid in your pocket. Now, I'm not saying that you should rely on a kit like this. Obviously, if you're going out, if there's bad weather forecast, if it's the winter, take proper gear. Kits like this are for emergencies, they're for redundancies, they're for backups, they're for going out maybe and challenging yourself with less items, they're for fun, they're for making enjoyable videos, like I hope you find this one. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't want to miss the shelter video I mentioned using these items, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I may do a full overnighter using only this kit. I may do the shelter video as part of it or I may do it as its own video. Who knows? Who knows? I have to put all this stuff back now or maybe I'll just cheat and go like this. Oh yeah.